so what is up everyone it is me Troy and I'm back in with another video and I want to say thanks to everybody who recently commented like and subscribe so as the title states this is going to be a tag video I haven't done a tag video in, in like a year but the tag title is girl what is it uh, not a booktube newbie tag but, but to pull it back together <laughs> I was not tagged by anyone I was inspired to do this video because I seen Alan Janae do this video so I'll put a link down to her channel below yay but y'all already subscribed everybody subscribed to her so she's yeah but you, if you're not then you need to go subscribe and I also saw that somebody did this tag video as well so I'll put a link down to her channel below so you need to get over there and hit that subscribe button but anyway hey girls so I'm looking at my little direct TV still case journal and um, I'm gonna go with the questions here the first question is how old is your channel and my channel I uploaded my first video in January of 2013 I uploaded my first video at the top of that year because I wanted to make sure that I started my year off um, making sure that I was doing what it is that I was uh, preparing to do you know the year before there's a lot of details that I can put behind that but January of 2013 is when I uploaded my first video and I very much eased my way into it making myself comfortable as I moved along each month so with that being said my channel is probably about four and a half years old so I'm currently in my fifth year which I think is pretty amazing I this is too fun to stop though to be honest with you like I don't see any reason to stop it's too damn fun so the second question is what are your favorite videos to make and to be honest with you my favorite videos is to make are all the videos and I say that because now the one caveat is that you know some videos are obviously easier to make than others but I say that I love making all videos is because I just love being creative uh, in all aspects but as far as what is easy and what is hard the easy videos obviously are the hauls I mean come on like really but the harder ones are the for me I label them chopping up videos the reason I say chop it up is because I don't feel like I am the most articulate person or thorough person as in regards you know explaining the details and giving an opinion of a book so the best that I can do is come to y'all like y'all homeboy and talk my opinion about a book as in catching up with you so the third question is one piece of advice you would give to someone who is joining booktube and that's really easy you know I'm one of those people like I don't like when people talk 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 about what they want to do instead of actually doing it I, after a while I, I, I tune it out I'm very much a person that's like take the steps take the risks, take the leaps so if you're just thinking about doing booktube and you're sitting here just thinking about it then you know my piece of advice is just to go ahead and do it take the plunge and do what I did when I first started I made one video per month one video per month and then eventually I started to get some momentum and not with subscribers but with my whole you know attitude towards the process you know putting aside my insecurities of myself and I started to get momentum and then it was like more and more videos I was like I can't wait to make videos and this and this and this and next thing you know I was on a roll so what I, my advice is just to get started upload your first video and then give yourself a break you don't have to put any pressure on you give yourself a little break take another month you know you don't want to be the ones that are coming into the booktube experience inspired by someone who was already forge their own path and you're thinking that you're gonna shoot straight up because a girl is not gonna work like that but if you are interested in starting a YouTube a booktube channel I will put a link to a Goodreads group that helped me out a lot when I initially joined because I think one of the reasons or one of the biggest part portions of your success is gonna come from connecting with other people who are in the same lane as you so question number four is were there any unforeseen challenges that came about during making booktube video of being on booktube <laughs> So I can answer that. Um, I think when it comes to challenges, when you're trying to do anything in life or pursue anything, although when it comes, when, when I use the word pursue as in regards to booktube, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing or where I'm going, but it's just kind of fun to me to do. But you know, the thing to me, it always kind of comes back to getting in our own way. Um, for myself, I had had moments where I felt like, you know, I was paying a little bit too much attention to the things that, that were essentially exacerbating my insecurities, you know, as far as already having them when uploading videos. And that usually ran to things like numbers and metrics and analysis and that sort of thing, you know. But, um, you know... I, it's okay I feel like it's okay to try to step back for a moment to recoup your thoughts and recoup your motivation and inspiration and then before you get back into the game but the important thing for me is to not let those things hold you back they're gonna be there regardless of you know whatever it is that you try to pursue but the important thing to me is always to just keep going and to not get in your own ways and another kind of unforeseen challenge that I think that I had was the challenge of um, making sure that I stay true to myself, true to my opinions, true to 
uh, my own version of self-expression. I think that that's something that, um, you know, I kind of, at one point in time, I, I used to question, you know, like, oh my God, I, should I say this or should I say that? Or, you know, I, and that just drove me crazy. Like, I cannot do that at all. So question number five is a book or book series that you discovered through BookTube or something like that. And you know what, it's so funny because I'm really not, I really, I don't know, I think I'm one of the people that I really stay in my own lane a lot. But um, I will say that one book that I was so happy that was recommended to me two years ago on book two was, of course, the Swimming Pool Library that um, Dee Dee from uh, Brown, I would say Little Brown Girl, I'm so sorry, girl, <laughs> but Brown Girl Reading had uh, recommended that book to me, and I fell in love with Alan Holly Hurst. This, this, this right here. I see it like that. Um, I haven't read anything else by him, but I still have a copy of uh, The Stranger's Child that I've been holding on for about two years now. I know it's so sad and pitiful of me. But So question number six is favorite aspect of booktube. Um, child, I mean, you know what? Like Alan said in her video, and I think some did too, it's kind of obvious and apparent that, you know, the whole uh, communicating with other people who read books, communicating with other readers, the connectivity that we share, the bonds some of us share, although I'm not that great at bonds, so I do apologize about that, but just connecting with other people who read books is probably the biggest aspect the, and the biggest reward. Um, because like outside of my room or my reading space if you will I don't really talk to a lot of people about books I'm very much a seclusive kind of person when it comes to that what well, not intentionally it's just that you know nobody I know really reads books and I hate go and I just hate going to bookstores with people who don't read I know it's kind of funny right I go to the bookstore by myself completely that way I can browse and spend my whole time there but you know that aside um, I actually found this ticket here one way ticket downtown murder mystery book club that meets up every Thursday every third Thursday of the month at 5 30 p.m. at our public library so I'm interested in, in probably getting into that you know as I do more research but that obvious answer aside I think one of the aspects that I love most about book two you know besides the um, you know connecting and talking about books is when so, uh, when I get a comment as simple as someone saying that a video that I made made their day, you know, when I'm getting comments like, you know, I came to work today and I logged into my computer and I saw your video and it made my day. To me, that is, I, I love that. I love that. You know, I'm all about, you know, positivity, about joy and having fun and cutting up and just having a good time and just, just being silly a lot of the times. You know, I love making videos online, but I don't take the whole thing too seriously. You know, it's all, I always have room for some fun. But just getting those kind of comments and knowing that someone is watching my video and they're like, you know, laughing and carrying on and hooting and hollering and ticking and tacking. That is probably the biggest aspect or the biggest reward that I get out of this whole experience. So the seventh question is a newbie shout out. Unfortunately, I don't know anyone new at this point. Um, I do apologize about that. I mean, I haven't really uh, made any new connections with new people who are just starting booktube lately. But if you are new and you're watching this video, you are very much welcome to uh, leave a link to your channel down below. Actually, I really encourage that so that people who watch come across this video can go ahead and, and find new um, booktubers that they want to be introduced to. So do that for me. And the eighth question is tag some people. And that coincides with question number seven. So you can make a video of this tag and then drop the link to that video in the comment section down below. And I'll be sure to unspam it. I think that's what they do now on YouTube. On YouTube. So that is it, guys. Um, enjoy yourself. Have a great time. Be blessed. Uh, what does Portia say? I'm too blessed to be stressed and too sexy to be thirsty. Yeah. Oh,